again, this is a series. This is the third in the series. I recommend watching the first two first. Hopefully there's an annotation somewhere in this video that will bring you to the full playlist. If not, check the description. Um, and this week we're going to be looking at grabbing a map uh, based on an address from a shell script, a bash script. Um, now uh, we're going to be using the, G, uh, the Google API. Unfortunately, that's not fully open. The maps are going to be copyrighted, but uh, right now we're basically using it as a service. All the code that I write is going to be free and open source, but remember you're using a service someone's providing. They can change or take away that service at any time. That's up to you. Um, there is open street maps, which we could probably do similar stuff with. I'm just used to using Google Maps. Open street maps might be something you want to look at, depending on your moral, ethical, and technical views and your needs. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, so today we're going to be using wget uh, to grab a map, and then we're going to grab it as an image, as a still image, as a static map, and we're going to um, then display it on the screen. To display it, I'm going to use the command display, which is part of the image magic package. Image magic is installed on a lot of systems, but uh, not necessarily all systems by default, but should be in your repositories. So, uh, example on a um, Debian-based machine, you can use aptitude or apt-get uh, to install image magic right there, like so, probably as sudo or root. I already have it installed. You might already, it's commonly used. Um, so let's go ahead, and I'm, again, I'm gonna use wget. You could use curl if you prefer. I'm going to say um, dash O, and I'm going to give it an output file. So in previous videos, we were outputting to the screen because we were getting text, but this time we're getting a binary file, an image, and so we want to make sure that we output that. So we're going to say output that to a file, I'll just call it map.png, because I believe it's PNG, yeah, it's PNG format that Google Maps gives us. Um, we can then give it the URL, but I'm going to do dash Q. If you have any problems, remove the dash Q. The dash Q gives you output as far as download speeds and percentages and stuff like that. It's good for error checking, but in our scripts, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to put the Q in there just to keep things cleaner. So now I'm going to paste a URL in there. Let me go ahead and copy that and I will paste it. So again, we're using the Google uh, API here and you can Leave the S in there for secure. I'm going to go not just to avoid any issues we might get. So I'm downloading it unencrypted. Um, not a big deal for something like this. Uh, maps, googleapis.com, maps, API, static map. And then we got to give it some arguments, some inputs. So I'm going to say question mark and I'm going to say center. Where do we want to center the map? Center it. Now we're going to give it an address. I'll again just say. One two three Fifth Avenue South, Naples, Florida. I live in Naples, Florida, and um, if we hit enter at this point, we're going to get a problem because we need to tell it what size we want map. Those are the two minimal uh, arguments you need to give it. So size, and this is a um, the size of the image that we want to create. So I'll just say five twelve by five twelve. It was give us a square map five hundred twelve by five hundred twelve pixels. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit enter. And if we list out now, you can see that I have a file in this folder called map.png. And if I type in display, because I have image magic installed, the name of that file, there is the map. It's that simple to get a static map. Obviously, you can't drag this around. It's a still image. It's a static map. Future tutorials, we'll get into using JavaScript to get interactive maps. But for shell scripts, static maps are probably the easiest way to go. And there's other arguments you can give it as well, which we're going to look at right now. So... Um, the next thing we want to do is how close do we want to zoom in to the map? So um, let's go ahead and run that same command again, wget. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, end end. And that means if the last command completed successfully, then we will display map png. Um, go ahead and hit enter there. And look at that, let me check something real quick. Okay, just making sure it didn't create a new map file uh, and that we were looking at the old one. Okay, so again, wget is a command to download stuff from the internet, dash 
O, that's not a zero, it's a capital O, is the output file. We want to output it to a map PNG. Uh, and then we'll say dash Q for quiet mode. Uh, you turn that off for troubleshooting. And our URL saying size, and we're saying end and if that is successful, if not, don't try to display the map. But if it's successful, then display the PNG. Okay, so now we're gonna give it a, another argument here. We'll say end, and we're gonna give it the zoom amount. So we'll say zoom equals, and the higher this number, the closer you're zoomed in. I'm not sure what the max is. I think it's in the 20s somewhere. Um, but, and I think the default, I forget, there is a default, obviously, because we didn't give it anything. I, I want to say it's 11. So let's go ahead and let's just try doing 20. That should bring us pretty close in on the map. There we go. We're looking at Fifth Avenue South, and you can see some buildings there. Uh, but we're again, we're just looking at a street view here, or street view, a satellite view, or a map of view, a road map view. Uh, but there are other options. Uh, there's terrain, there's satellite, or what I like is the... Um, hybrid mode, which is the satellite view with the, the map, the roadmap view over top of it. So what we're going to say here is we're going to give it another argument, and these arguments don't have to go in this order, you know, if you're familiar at all with passing uh, variables to arguments to URLs. Um, we're going to now say um, type, I'm sorry, it's actually map type equals, and I will just say hybrid or hybrid, however you say it. Enter there, and there we go. You can see the map information saying the street name, you can see the buildings, you can see what it looks like, you can see cars on the road, great. Let's zoom out a little bit, let's go back to maybe 15. Oh, that's pretty far out. Let's go back in and we'll say 18, there we go. So there we go. I'm not sure the max resolution. I don't think it's much higher than 512 by 512. Uh, that's something I should have looked up before this tutorial. But for what we're doing, this is pretty decent here. Where we've got our street view, our hybrid view, our street view with the map view over it. With, so we have the road names. If we just did satellite, I don't think it gives the street names. And that's something you might want. If you don't want the street names, just do satellite view. You will always get the, the Google um, copyright information down here because it is a copyrighted image. Um, you could cut that off, but that would probably be illegal. Uh, again, my script is free and open source, but doesn't mean the information you're grabbing from the internet is free and open source. Okay, so let's put all this into a script. And to save us time, I'm going to pop, copy and paste the script I've already created. So let me go ahead and I'll say, I'm gonna use Vim as my text editor, but as always, use whatever text editor you prefer. I'm gonna say get map address.sh and then I'm going to go ahead and come over to my other screen here and I'm going to copy and paste that. I also want to point out a lot of people complain about my color coding and that I use a black background in my tutorials. I want you to note that I did change the color scheme and I think it's a little bit easier readable now. The color's a little bit brighter on the black background. I hope that makes you guys happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this script. So I have some comments with some example coordinates here. Uh, we got a echo out saying retrieving map, which really probably should be put down here. Uh, <laughs> um, let me go ahead and move that. I think that would be better suited down here. Otherwise, it will say retrieving map, and then it might give you an error output before it even starts retrieving the map. So let's go ahead and put that there. So what we got here, we got, okay, if you watched the previous tutorials, you know what this is. This is saying how many arguments are there if there's less than one because we want to give it at least an address. Then give it the user the output. So we're gonna say, okay, input error if there's less than one argument. And then we're gonna say, okay, use it like this, give it the address, type, and zoom amount. You only need to give it an address, but type and zoom amount are good uh, to have. So here's an example. And then here we're gonna say examples of, of uh, map types. I just put a few, I'm not sure if there's others. Those are the four I'm familiar with. Roadmap, terrain, satellite, and hybrid. Default in my script is hybrid. And then we'll exit there. So that's if you don't give an address. If you do get an address, it's gonna say retrieving map and really technically that should be down here, but it shouldn't fail at any point in here because what this is doing is putting in the defaults. 
So as I said, in my script, it's going to say, okay, argument one should be address, argument two should be type of map, and argument three should be the amount you want to zoom. So again, zoom is number three. It's going to say here, if three is blank, if the user does not give a zoom amount, let's go ahead and default to 15. That's my default. Otherwise, use whatever the user gives. Same for argument two. If the user does not give an argument two, um, then we're going to default to hybrid. Otherwise, we're going to use what the user two says. You might be saying, well, what if I want, I, I don't care about putting the type, but I want to put in the zoom. My script, I'll show you a way to use that with my script. There's better ways to get arguments. I'm just doing what I know. Next, we're going to look at the first argument and uh, make that the address. And then we're going to put the output into a file here, a randomly generated temporary file in this, in this case. So here we have pretty much the same code we had before, but placing in our variables. We're saying, um, you know, get the address with all that information and then output it to our random file and then display that random file. Really, I should be using that end end symbol because if that fails, then we don't want to try to display it, but I didn't put that in my code. Uh, so I could put that here, I and end like so, but whatever. Anyway, we're gonna display it. And then after we display it, when we're done displaying it, we're gonna remove that temporary file. So that's what, it is. so this is, this, this is really the majority of the code here. The rest is just getting information from the user. Let's go ahead and save that, change mod plus X to make it executable. Then we'll say get, and again, if we hit enter here, we get our message here. And let's go ahead and just type in the example. We'll copy and paste the satellite at 15% zoom of 123 Fifth Avenue, uh, New York. And it's going to guess which Fifth Avenue, because I'm assuming there's probably a north and a south. It's going to grab whichever first one comes up in the Google search. And um, that did not work. Okay, let's see what we got here. Obviously, I typed something wrong. I'm unable to open. Oh, I must have. <laughs> Let's go ahead and vim. This is a an O. Oh, I put an I there when I was exit when I was putting stuff in. I put an extra I and messed up my variable there. I'm like I copy and pasted the script I know that works. Okay, let's try running it again. Retrieving map. There's Fifth Avenue in New York at a 15% zoom satellite view, so there's no street names. Um, so we can go here if we were to clear out the screen and run it again. Let's say I want the 15% zoom, but I don't care. I don't want, I just want it to be hybrid. I can type in hybrid, which is default, but I, let's say I just want the default. I could just put an empty, uh, you know, argument there, either with double quotes or single quotes, doesn't matter. And we'll do the hybrid mood. So you see, mode. So you see, we've got the satellite, we got the hybrid, the satellite with some names and mapping stuff on it. We can now zoom in more if we want 20, which is pretty close. Oops, I just closed out my shell. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open that up again. Tap maps, okay. So, um, again, our script's creating a random temporary file in our temp folder and deleting it. This map is from when we were doing the examples earlier. So let's go ahead and let me just open this up again. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I was thinking about going over the code again, but I've kind of gone over everything. But if you want, if you have any questions, here is my GitHub repository for this. If you go to github.com forward slash metalx1000, my name is metalx1000 on GitHub. And you search my repositories for maps and locations. You'll find my maps and locations under Bash. You can find all the scripts in this series. This one was called, um, which one was this? This was the get map from address right here. So you can click on that, see that code. You can download the whole project or the raw individual codes. So that's all up there for you to look at. I recommend typing it out yourself to learn and practice. But if you're having issues, go ahead and download and run my script. Should work. Everything but image magic should be installed on your system by default. Image Magic should be in the repositories for your system. I think it's on all of them. If not, change what program you use to display the image. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you have a great day. I hope that you like and share and subscribe to this video. Definitely liking and sharing 
Definitely helps me out a bunch, getting more viewers. I hope you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Check out the annotations in the description for a full playlist for this series. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's alright. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.